Welcome back to the Artie Lag Show. Sitting here with a guy I've known for a while from stand-up, but I didn't realize how involved uh, with sports his family is. Vic Henley, real funny guy. What's up, Vic? Nothing, boys. Yeah, I, I, I grew up a uh, SEC brat running around. My mom had the bad misfortune of my middle brother was an all-state running back and was a senior in high school. I mean, in, in Alabama. In Alabama. All-state all in Alabama. All-state running back in Alabama. Wow. In the same, his, while he was a senior all-state running back, my other brother, the older one, was a senior all-American running back at Auburn. So oh, my, my poor mom had to spend <laughs> Friday night in North Alabama and then drive all night with me in the car wow. drinking hot coffee to try to get to Gainesville, Florida to make the <laughs> Auburn game by 1 o'clock the next afternoon. So, so now, what, what did you play ball as well? I or? was the fat kid that just graduated. You were fat? <laughs> <laughs> I was the fat, smart one. That so you didn't. Uh, you were a good student, but didn't play ball. Both of them got scholarships to Auburn and didn't finish, and I got a scholarship for grades and graduated. So I, 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 the card that I always pull on them is I'm the only one that still actually has a piece of paper that can prove <laughs> they went to Auburn. No, University. you are because you are. Uh, 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 besides just your your material and stuff, you are you are one of the brighter guys. Well, you're, thanks, Artie. You, you know, I, <laughs> hanging out with you, I really just lower the bar. I lower the bar constantly and hang out with dumbasses, and that's why it makes me. I gotta start. Brilliant. I gotta start remembering. That. Right. <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, the, I, I gotta start interviewing by that. Uh, no, yeah, the, uh, the that is uh, you are definitely one, one of those uh, southern smart guys. Right? I hope so. I, yeah. I came in. I came in, and as soon as you said Hattie McDaniel, I'm like, he's talking about going with the wind. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was, you know, I'm <laughs> waiting like a spot. <laughs> Which they run every week on PBS in Alabama, by the way. Gone with the wind every Monday. If you haven't seen it, just wait till next Monday. It's on again. <laughs> It's actually a documentary down it's there. It's documentary. not even fiction. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> What's uh, so so so? You're talking about a really deep history. Your family. Oh, payoffs with, with and college. illegal scams yeah. and all kinds of stuff. My brother, my freshmen were not allowed to have cars at Auburn in 1969. Freshmen right. couldn't even play. For, explain the Auburn, Alabama thing. So Auburn is all the way on the other side. No, of the Auburn's state? in the middle of the state, yeah. and Tuscaloosa's in the northwest corner. And it's just. And it's you just were born the, in Auburn country. No, no. I, my brother's an Auburn running back. So right. from the moment I was born, I had no choice. And then uh -huh. my middle brother also went to Auburn. I just grew up going to Auburn. I worked in the athletic department when I was done. When people ask me how serious the rivalry is, I say forever. I've added this little part of the joke because Sandusky scandal didn't exist. Right. But it used to be I, it used to be I'd pull for the Taliban pedophile all stars before I pulled for Alabama. <laughs> and now and now it's I'd pull for the Jerry Sandusky coached Taliban <laughs> pedophile all stars. Yeah, you can just I say Penn State. Yeah. Uh, but so uh, now, what are your brother? What are your brothers doing now? The oldest it? one uh, uh, sells insurance, like all former great. Pro, that's you true. either go in the car business or the insurance business, and so he, he, you have one good year. You're your insurance man. That's what he does. He, he's loaded. He's fat city. He lives in Birmingham. He's totally great. That's great. And uh, he hangs out. And my middle brother is uh, semi -dis disabled. He's got arthritis in his neck, so oh, he can't really? do it. So he just hangs out. That's he cool. fishes a lot. They're both. They both got it made. They don't now, do anything. Now, how often are, are you go south to visit your family? About you once get, a year. Yeah, I can't go more than once a year. Lie, no, I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. Real? Yeah. No, why is racism? That? <laughs> <laughs> just blatant hearing the N word as soon as you get out and you're just pumping gas and you're really? not even. Yeah, it's now, completely. Is it still that bad? It's pretty bad. Yeah, really? it is. I took my second ex-wife uh, in uh, in 08 when after after I'd foolishly gotten married again. She wants to go to Alabama. She's like, you know, after you get married, you're supposed to go meet the family. I'm like, okay, you want to go? I'm taking you. And I'm like. We drive into Atlanta. We fly into Atlanta and drive over. It's about an hour and a half. And I tell her, I'm like, I guarantee you, well, it won't be a half hour if we're out in public. Yeah. I go not at my mom's house, but if we're, we, I go, let's just stop here and get gas. I bet you we'll hear something. Right. Wow. And, I, and she walks in the convenience store with me. And I pump a little gas and grab a couple of bottles of wine to take to my mom's house. A couple of Gatorades. And sure enough, it's 08. There's an election year. It's, it's June 08. Okay, it's 08. The, ele the election's coming up in the fall, and two hillbillies at the register buying dip and stuff. Turns out, you think this? Mm, it's I totally. Like, you know, that was when Obama won yep, the first absolutely. year. Of and my, my second ex turns to me and goes, oh, wow. And I'm like, yeah, you want to go back to the airport now? We don't really have to stay. And my well, mom you, will be upset. But... During elections and stuff, people don't realize how big this country is. And you get you get caught up in the fa New York, L.A., Chicago. Like, no, people, you know, guys like Bush get elected, you know. Oh, God, yeah, hell because yeah. Because this Absolutely. is a huge country. Because he's the guy that, he, he did not matter if he's got policy. That's some of my Obama jokes. Are, after eight years of Bush, how dare Obama show up and be articulate? <laughs> 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 what do you mean coming on here in a complete sentence and having a point. That's going to brain lock, idiot. The Cracker Barrel America can't deal with that. No one knew what to do. <laughs> yeah, so so. Don't you think, I, I, I always said that the the, eight, the the rock the vote thing, the 18, uh, not everybody should vote. No. There should, no, there, should no, no. A, there should be a test or something. <laughs> like, Absolutely. I mean, there's a test to drive. <laughs> That's correct. I mean, they give you a test to drive. There should be some sort of test to vote. You that know? is like, true. Just go, look, you're too stupid to vote. No, there should right. be some sort of card. Right. Where, you know. You're not allowed to shape national policy. Yeah. I mean, because that's what we're doing. 
<laughs> Correct, exactly. Me and you are shaping hey, national policy. I don't know, jeez. You know. I mean, well, uh, well. Now, now the the Auburn, who's is the most famous guy to go to Auburn? Probably Bo Jackson. Absolutely, it's and still, Barkley and, yeah. Charles. Charles, and Charles. We were all Barkley. freshmen together. They're my age. We were all freshmen. I know Charles. I don't know Bo. Bo was very quiet. Bo had a stutter. He had a speech impediment. He didn't talk like he was. Uh, his wife was a child psychologist. They had a, a family and child development center, and he always wanted to just hang out. With, he felt he was the bully and the mean kid. So he oh, just, really? Like, so he was always just hanging out. He was very quiet. Barkley was as boysterous and crazy the nice as he is guy. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've met, him, yeah. met him a couple of times. Sweetheart, right? But yeah, Bo Jackson was the kind of guy to me where I, 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 I just admired him. Obviously, as a fan of sports, but. With that stutter that he has, you you, you could see where it, <laughs> maybe someone used to make fun of him. Absolutely, and he beat and the it, piss oh, out oh, of God, him. I, like, he's one of those guys. Could you imagine like accidentally making fun of it or something? Right. Like I can imagine then, going uh -oh, crazy. Too late. Yeah, right. Like Absolutely. that's his anger. I just saw, hit the thirty for thirty on him is amazing. He won the decathlon. He the, the, he won the decathlon. With, he had enough points after nine events. He would not do the 1,500-meter run. Not, he he would take a zero right. and still won two years in a row. He won, he could high jump seven feet in high school. Right. People forget him, how, how amazing he was. I really think if he had concentrated on nothing but football, he would have broken every record there was. But he was a track and a baseball guy. Those were his really two favorite sports. He liked baseball Baseball, a lot. football was third. Yeah, football but, really was third. But, was that, but that running up the wall and oh my the God. crack in the bat over his head. and uh, Some and, of the throws. A yeah. throw from the warning track that's not even a one hopper. I from know, the man. wall to the plate on a line, nailing yeah. somebody, unbelievable. That 30 for 30 with him, the, if you watch the play he gets injured on, it's unbelievable because to, to take down someone like him, yep. you'd think it would have to be some sort of a terrorist attack. Yep. I mean, he's literally just running. Yeah, and it's just and a little he, nick. And he just goes like yep. this yep. and and you're done. Did anything like that ever happen to you on well, the field? Well, here's the thing with Bo. You know, his hip, the way it was degrading. Right. There's something called avascular necrosis, which is what he had. Yes, he's it just would have got worse. He's on his what? second one. Yeah. He's had them both replaced. The the first one that got injured is he on his second hip and he there. Hasn't and he played. Other. No, it was an arthritic condition. It just but got But the side just, effect. It's worse, yeah. Avascular necrosis is sometimes a side effect of having too much uh, cortisone, too much injection. Oh, know, okay. Too oh, wow. Much wow. Yeah, Ooh. too much corticosteroids injected into your body. And back then, you know, if you got hurt or something, you'd take a shot you know, any number of times during a season. Now they limit you. Like, you can get a cortisone shot every once in a while. Yeah. You can get prednisone every once in a while uh, for, for bad injuries because it's a nerve anti-inflammatory, the prednisone, like the oral prednisone. Right, right, right. right. But if, he, if they were just giving him prednisone and giving him shots all the time, that can lead to the avascular necrosis. There's a lot of people who feel like that's what ended his career. Now, is that what A-Rod has, you think? Because I mean, not, I'm, I'm being dead serious. I, as a Yankee fan, I'm looking to get out of paying him. <laughs> Do you think he knowingly took that and, and made his hip uh, worse? Well, I just want something for the Yankee. You have no to... choice as far as knowingly taking it or not. If you're hurt and the doctor says, here, take this, you, you take it. Right, but That's I'm talking steroids part. in general. Well, this is not a performance-enhancing steroid. This is just this a is just nerve anti-inflammatory uh, steroid. pain. Yeah. Right. I don't know. That, that, that's uh, the, 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 when's the last time Auburn won a national title? 2010, Cam Newton. 2000, is it's that only true? two years back. Yeah, they that's went undefeated. Right, right? They, they beat went, the, yeah. Cam Newton. That was unbelievable. What do you think of him? Uh, it cost me thirty-five thousand dollars. That was money well spent. <laughs> I loved it. First title since '57, is that, baby. I is was that thrilled true? with that. Is that true? Well, he did come in power and wash my deck. <laughs> I, I did. You, once you paid me the money, he was obligated to do some some light labor around the house. <laughs> thirty-five. Thirty-five grand. grand. He power washed my deck. That's what I got for that. Oh, you know, man. yeah, I was really and a picture with the Heisman Trophy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what are you bitching about? <laughs> <laughs> that's money I ever spent. Uh, all right, well, uh, we'll, be, we'll be, God, that's—I'm uh, I, sorry I asked that now.